Petia, aliases, Golden Knight, classification, Trojan Horse, type, ransomware, subtype, cryptovirus, operating system, S, affected, Windows. Petia, malware, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Petia is a family of encrypting ransomware that was first discovered in 2016. The malware targets Microsoft Windows-based systems, infecting the master boot record to execute a payload which encrypts the NTFS file table, demanding a payment in Bitcoin in order to regain access to the system. Variants of Petia were first seen in March 2016, which propagated via infected email attachments. In June 2017, a new variant of Petia was used for a major global cyber attack, which utilizes the Eternal Blue vulnerability previously used by Wanakery earlier in the year. History Petia was first discovered in March 2016. One checkpoint noted that while it had achieved fewer infections than other ransomware active in early 2016, such as CryptoWall, it contained notable differences in operation that caused it to be immediately flagged as the next step in ransomware evolution. Another variant of Petia discovered in May 2016 contained a secondary payload used if the malware cannot achieve administrator level access. On June 27, 2017, a major global cyber attack began, utilizing a new variant of Petia. Casper Sky Lab reported infections in France, Germany, Italy, Poland, United Kingdom, and the United States, but that the majority of infections targeted Russia and Ukraine, where more than 80 companies initially were attacked, including the National Bank of Ukraine. McAfee engineer Christian Beek stated that this variant was designed to spread quickly, and that it had been targeting complete energy companies the power grid, bus stations, gas stations, the airport, and banks Kaspersky dubbed. The variant not Petia, as it has major differences in its operations in comparison to earlier variants. Operation, both versions of Petia utilize a payload which infects the computer's master boot record, overriding the Windows bootloader, and then triggering a restart. On the next startup, the payload is executed which encrypts the master file table of the NTFS file system, and then displays the ransom message demanding a payment made in Bitcoin. During this process, a simulation of the output of CHKDSK, Windows File System Scanner, is displayed on screen, suggesting that the hard drive is actually being repaired. The original payload required the user to grant it administrative privileges. One variant of Petaya was bundled with an alternate payload known as Misha, which is used if Petaya fails to install. Misha is a more conventional ransomware payload which encrypts user documents, as well as executable files, and does not require administrative privileges to execute. The earlier versions of Petia disguised its payload as a PDF file, attached to an email. The not Petia variant utilized in the 2017 attack utilizes the same Eternal Blue exploit that was used by Wanakery. Impact During the attack initiated on June 27, 2017, the radiation monitoring system at Ukraine's Chernobyl nuclear power plant went offline. Several Ukrainian ministries, banks, and metro systems were also affected. Among those affected elsewhere included British advertising company WPP, Maersk Line, American pharmaceutical company Merck Co., Russian oil company Rosneft, multinational law firm DLA Piper, French construction company St. Gobain and its retail and subsidiary outlets in Estonia. Spanish food company Mondelez, an American hospital operator Heritage Valley Health System. The Cadbury's Chocolate Factory in Hobart, Tasmania, is the first company in Australia to be affected by Petia. On June 28, 2017, JNPT, India's largest container port, has reportedly been affected and all operations have come to a standstill. Reaction Europol said it was aware and is urgently responding to reports of a cyber attack in member states of the European Union. In the United States, the Department of Homeland Security is involved in coordinating with its international and local partners. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.